Blinds are now 40,000, 80,000 with a 10,000 ante. Mustafa Kanet under the gun. As 8-10 suited, he raises to 175,000. Kings for Charlie Carroll. Will it be a three bet or will it be a sneaky call? It's the latter, the sneaky call. Very, very sneaky. King Jack for Charles Cornuth on the button, in position. How much did you start with, Charlie? Like four, I think. We know he's in bad shape. Fold. And so did he. Ooh, pass, I like that. Might have to say that. Welcome to Europe, Chance. Now wait till you see how often you have to use that brush next to the toilet. Ew. Bertelsen has folded. Keith Johnson in the big blind. Johnson's big. Also passes. Not gonna rise to that one. Heads up to the flop. So a flush draw for Canet. Carroll still a two to one favorite with Kings. It's always something. Mustafa continues for 200K. He can rep a lot here. And I think Charlie is gonna take the standard radio show contest approach of call, call, call. He has called. The turn card is a nine. Mustafa now with a straight draw to go with his flush draw. Which I think means we're only going to see more barrels. 500,000. Once again, Charlie just calls. So far, so call. The river is a seven. That is a straight to the ten for Mustafa Kanet. Oh, come on. 1.9 million in the middle. Mustafa betting for value 1.4 million. That's roughly three quarters of the pot. Mustafa's hand is pretty dang disguised. And this bet is polarizing. I beat some of your value hands. I'm not sure if I do when you get that size there. Ding! Oh, that's a less confident smile than last time. That's good. <laughs> No, I'm confident, I'm confident. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I believe you're confident in life, but I'm not so sure about this hand. I'm always confident, bro. <laughs> Dude's got more confidence than a 1920s grifter. Oh, well, there's one on the rail. <laughs> what do you reckon I have? I have no idea, but I don't care. I have kings. Kings is a good hand. It's a really good hand, yeah, right? Yeah, no. It's one of my favorites. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you kind of deserve my money then. What can I have? I can have nine sevens. Threes. I can have three three, six six, a six, six five, six seven. Nines. Nines. Sevens. Mm, Maybe ten really, eight. Not really sevens. Maybe four five. Uh, yeah. What bluffs can you have? All of them. I six bet ten six off suited yesterday, so I have a lot of time. <laughs> but that is not. Was it off suit? <laughs> of course, bro. What do you think you're talking Double about? Double suited. Let's go. He doesn't do this with queens or jacks. That's for show. Come on, don't stare at me. We are friends. Well, Charlie Carroll, it's time to make like a subtitle and read. Charlie folds. Good fold, bro. Good fold. Yep. Show one, show one. Huh? Show one. Uh, yeah, you can I'd pick see. one. It's the 10. Oh. That's a bad one to see. Is that bad to see? I mean, usually. You can have 10 8 club. A king. I don't open 10 8. I don't open 10 8 suited with this tax. That face where you think you've made a really good fold, but at the last second, you're not that sure. 
If you're enjoying the way that I'm speaking about poker, teaching poker, I do have a website, charliecarroll.com. Link is in the description below. You'll find on there a mindset masterclass, which I think is the most important, teaching you how to deal with tilt, anxieties, ambition, things like that. You'll find a poker masterclass completely teaching you how to restructure the way that you think about poker. And you'll find a complete archive of the bankroll challenge.